Hi, I'm Valgorum and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a guide on fronts for the game City of Gangsters. Fronts are a hugely important aspect for the game and I hope that this video can help you understand them a little better. Alright, let's get started. Please remember to like, subscribe or leave a comment as it really does help me out. In the game, fronts are required to be set up and maintained so that you can expand your territory. So to create a front, you must meet the following four requirements. You must have scoped the building. You need to have at least 10 opinion points with the owner of that business. Have the right amount of cash on your crew member at the location. And you also can't be actively expanding another front. To create a front, you need to start a favor conversation with the business owner and then select the option. Our outfit wants to expand our territory and take over this part of the city. I wanted you to run a front for us in your fine establishment. Carry on with this conversation until you get to the part where you need to check in some cash to sweeten the deal. So we've only got one option here. All right, now we've got the part where we need to sweeten the deal. So we'll throw in $140. As I said before, you will need to have the cash on you and then you'll be able to shake on it and seal the deal. There we go, shake on it. Fantastic. Now we've got a front. But you need to now get this front working for you, and that means expansion. Each front can only expand in an adjacent corner that is connected by a street, so that means a maximum of four corners, or as you can see in this instance, three corners. One, two, and three. When you're ready to expand, you need to keep in mind that each expansion to a new corner requires a monthly upkeep cost. You'll need to continue to pay this monthly upkeep cost for as long as you hold the corner. To pay for this expansion, you either have to drop off cash at the front, or you can set up a protection racket which will provide some income to cover the cost of the expansion. I'll talk about rackets a little bit later. Right, so let's start our first expansion. To start, we need to talk to the owner and ask how is our front doing. And then select the option that starts with the let's talk about the locals. I need to expand my territory out here. The owner will present you his idea on what he can do to expand to a neighboring corner. The key piece of information we need to know here is how much is it going to cost you up front and how much per month. Again, you will need to have the cash on you to start the expansion. So as you can see here, we need $8 up front and then $8 every month. So we select this option. Excellent. We've started our first expansion. It'll take a while for this to actually complete, but it's also important to note here uh, that you cannot start a new front while this expansion is going on. Okay, now that you've started the expansion, there's the monthly upkeep to worry about. As I said before, you can either drop cash off at the front, or you can start a protection racket and start receiving some monthly income to cover the expansion costs. Let's look at how we create a protection racket. You can only start a protection racket for a business that resides within the boundaries of your control. Any money gained from the protection racket will go to the corresponding front. If you want income to cover the cost of a specific front, then you need to make sure that the protection racket is within the area of that front. You can check what corners your front control by going to the report dialogues, fronts and territories, and in here you can see what front you have. So this is the new one we just created and in here you can see that they're currently expanding how many is left to expand what they've got and their monthly upkeep to start a protection racket you need to have a crew member go to the corresponding corner and then talk to the owner you need to select the option we've taken control of this corner some things will change from this point on follow on with the conversation till you get to the screen that tells you how much money you could be potentially collecting from them each month as you can see here, $20 every month. Now keep in mind that not every protection racket attempt will be successful. If it's successful, then you'll gain that much income per month. If it's not successful, you'll have the option to destroy their property or walk away. If you choose to destroy the property, then that will obviously have a negative impact on their relationship with you. This one here is uh, attempting to try and get around us. But he's uh, decided that uh, he'll take our protection racket. 
I found that um, having two protection rackets per front is normally enough to maintain the cost of four expansions. Uh, if the cost of the expanded territories is lower than your protection racket income, then there'll be leftover money each month, which you can then pick up with a crew member. As you expand your front, you will start getting opportunities to gain access to controlled buildings. These are the same as your safe house, and then you have a legitimate business at the front, and you can create an illegal operation at the back. These are your main income earners and extremely important to get up and running. So the more territory you control will mean you can have more control buildings at your disposal. Alright, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, subscribe or leave a comment as it really does help me out.